Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to my channel. And for today, we are going to be taking this freaking guy into some of the timeline battle in Vibranium League just to show you guys whether it's still worth to build up your upper clips for PvP or not so that you know what to do when it comes to building up your tier 3 upper clips. Alright, so before we go into that, let's quickly check out our build here. Well, we got max attack speed, max ignore defense, and max cooldown. And there's like 44,000 of energy attack here with Warp's leadership. And we got around 93,000 of HP here as well, which is not too bad. Uh, all the gears are 25, and there's at least 2 legendary energy attack Uru on each of the gear, with some of the mythic dodge Uru as well. No Odin's blessing at all. All the skills that are maxed out here. And then we got rank 4 combat type enhancement here, which is very useful, especially against those speed type like Quicksilver and Black Widow. We got a set of Power Angry Hawk ISO set here, Sage Truff in effect. And then we got a CTP of Regen here with around 33% of max HP, which is not too bad. And then we got our Uniform and Mythic level with some of the all attacks and double HP as an extra stat. Alright, so that's all for the build and without any further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, the first team, we got all the PvP meta in this team. The current champion in Vibranium League, uh, Silver Surfer which lists Thanos and Jean Grey. So our enemy doesn't have any of the support characters here, so let's see how good is tier 3 Apocalypse, especially against this team. Wow, not too bad, but of course this team doesn't have any of the CTP of inside here and this team doesn't have a uh, Colossus for the damage reduction as well so we might be having some of the advantages in this battle but let's see what Apocalypse can do here especially against the Mad Titan okay that's very close yeah we are done didn't expect that to happen actually we actually took down this Thanos quite fast, although he is rocking with a regen, I guess. And this Jin is rocking with a CTP of Greed here, which is not too bad. Well, I got to say that Apocalypse is definitely having some of the PvP potential here, especially in timeline battle. He can go toe to toe with Jin Grey for quite a long match here. Uh, I think that could be done because this team doesn't have Colossus or Mystic or any of the support characters here. So we might be having some of the advantages, uh, but let's see. Ooh, that was really close. Okay. Hmm, never mind. Let's try again. Okay, let's fight against this gene. Uh, this gene might be a bit tough for us. Of course, they don't have any of the debuff leadership here, but they do have two support characters and in addition to the 55% of all attacks from Nick Fury's leadership, which might be a bit difficult for us, but let's see. Um, I'm trying to avoid making this battle too long, so I had to switch in upper clips here. So here we go. This team does have an insight here. What? A CTP of Rage for PvP? Are you kidding me, bro? Let me check again. Yeah, it is a CTP of Rage here. What a surprise. Um, I guess this shouldn't be a problem for Apocalypse to take down this Jin here. But to be honest, they are utilizing the maximum offensive build for Jin Grey. 55% of all attacks from Nyx leadership and the extra uh, damage dealt to superhero from Taskmaster tier 2 passive and they do have a CTP of Insight in their team here and right now, they do have a CTP of Rage on their Jean Grey which is insane what a top offensive build I have ever seen so here we go alright, this team is quite interesting so here we go um, I don't think we can take down this team because of the blast type of Jean Grey but here we go. Obviously, this team doesn't have any of the CTP of Insight here, but their Jin is rocking with the CTP of Regen, which is not too bad, but the stack could be much better. Okay, expected. So let's see what Apocalypse can do here. Okay, the 4th skill and the 5th skill. Ooh, seriously? Okay. 
That was really close. Yeah, I just realized that the AI keep doing the fourth skill and the fifth skill, and we are done. Took down the first slide of Jing Ray. So let's continue. Guys, I'm not lying. The AI keep doing the fourth skill and the fifth skill. Okay, the tier 3 is available. Are you going to do the tier 3 skill now? Okay, he is doing the tier 3. Let's see. Come on, come on. Not again? Seriously? Not able to take down Jean Grey again? Oh, that was really close. Okay, here we go. Guys, I was really surprised. I thought Apocalypse shouldn't be able to take down the blast of Jean Grey because of the type disadvantage, which is a blast versus combat. But guys, this was real. He really took down the blast of Jean Grey. That is really nice. Okay, he's doing the tier 3 now. I think, yeah, this should be the end of the story. Okay, one shot. Okay, I believe a lot of top Vibranium teams must be having this kind of team up like Silver Surfer, which leads Jean Grey and Colossus. This is like the most general team up in Timeline Battle, especially the top 100 ranking in Vibranium League. So let's see if he's still able to take down this team or not. Uh, this team does have a CTP of Inside, and this Silver Surfer is rocking with a CTP of Regen. So let's see if Hopoclip is still able to take down this Silver Surfer and this Jingwei or not. Well, I didn't expect that to happen actually. Took down the first slide of Silver Surfer. Ooh, again? Yeah, that is really nice. Okay, I don't think he can survive here. Yeah, because uh, Jingwei did the fifth skill. So it's very hard for Apocalypse to uh, dodge or survive. So let's try again. Alright, here we go. The same team up but with different lead. This time we are choosing the team. They only have the debuff removal leadership. And this Jingrei is rocking with a CTP of Greed here. And they do have a CTP of Inside in their team here. Our man is back now. So let's see. Ooh, so much damage, seriously? One shot Jing Rui, that is just fantastic. Okay, it seems that we are getting one shot here, yeah. Because Jing Rui is doing her faith skill again. So let's try one more time, the last time. Alright, here we go, the same team up, Silver Surfer and Jing Rui. But here is a problem with this team up, uh, Silver Surfer and Jing Rui. They do have the revive ability which Apocalypse does not. So this might be something you have to take into consideration. If Apocalypse die, he is die. He is not going to revive like Silver Surfer or Jean Grey. So it might be a bit tough for him to shine in PvP if there is a Silver Surfer, if there is a Jean Grey. Especially on auto play mode. Because if Apocalypse die, he is die. There is no second chance. So as always, you are only going to produce the best result in timeline battle if you are controlling your characters manually because it's just very hard for a character that doesn't have revive ability to shine in today's timeline battle that is the truth but in my opinion Apocalypse is definitely still worth to be built up for PvP as what we have seen since the beginning of the battle even on auto play mode he was still able to take down Jean Grey uh, take down Thanos and even destroy Silver Surfer so if you play him manually it is still possible for Apocalypse to do something great in timeline battle if Otto is not, but in Alliance Conquest, uh, he is super hard to be killed to be honest because of the extra HP they are given by Marvel Future Fight in Alliance Conquest. So as what I said, he definitely has some of the PvP potential here, take down Silver Surfer and destroy the first life of Jean Grey as well. So if he was given a revive ability, he is going to be a monster, I guarantee. But right now, since he doesn't have the revive ability, so he might not be that usable compared to Silver Surfer and Jean Grey in today's timeline battle. He is like a mini fan of very tanky, decent damage but don't have revive ability. I really wish they would add on this revive skill for Apocalypse in the future. That would be really nice if they do it. 
So there we go, finally we are able to take down this team up. Alright guys, so that's all for the gameplay and the suggestion. Feel so sad for this guy. It would be really nice if there is a revive ability on his skill. But this is what we got. Hopefully we can get what we are looking for in the future. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell. And thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Take care.